Hi guys, I'll join you again with another video. This is a game called Scarlet Nexus and it's on the Xbox Series X. You have to live, no matter what. The virtual brain link cable will now be connected. This will hurt much more than it did in training. Be strong. Is this for real? So this is what SAS feels like. Good. Seems like you're okay. This aptitude test will determine your platoon assignment. Do your best. Yes, sir! So, it's a bit long-winded, the cutscenes between the characters and stuff. Um, the reason for this is... The game is sort of like a hack and slash game, but it's, it's, got, it's like Persona a bit, Persona 5. It's like... Um, there's character development as well throughout it and stuff like that, so it's, it is important to the story. It's not just like a diablo hack and slash, there's a bit more to it and stuff. And to be honest, I've seen this game before and um, I wasn't sure what to make of it, you know. I was on the fence, but now I've actually played it, I'm really, really impressed and uh, I really am. Uh, it, it's really good. Uh, it came on the Game Pass yesterday, so that's why I got it. It's also on the PS5. I'm not sure about the PC. I will find out. And um, yeah, I'm I'm well impressed with it. I really am. I played it through pretty much to where the end of this video is yesterday. It's like a test, and I enjoyed it. And so I thought I'd record it again today and uh, share it with you guys. So I've included the tutorial because it sort of shows what you do with the controls and stuff. It gives you an idea if you're thinking about getting the game, what uh, you have to actually do to, you know, play it and stuff. And um, yeah, it's pretty easy. The controls is quite satisfying when you use your telekinesis and stuff and throw carrots at the creature. It's pretty decent. It's really weird. I I never took to this when I first saw it, and the person that played it. Um, 
you know, she did a brilliant job playing it, and it was, you know, way better than me. And I just couldn't really, I don't know, couldn't let it bind you the game then. It never really appealed to me. When I saw it was free on Game Pass, I thought, oh, I'll give it a go now, because it's free. And um, so here it is. And to be honest, I'm pleasantly surprised. I really am enjoying it. And um, if you've got the Xbox and you've got Game Pass, it's worth checking it out for sure. Welcome to the people who have come over from my paranormal channel, one for World of Weirdness. Um, what happened? I posted a few paranormal based games with no narration on there, and you know, they were, it went okay having them on there. You know, way more views than I get here, don't be wrong. This is a much bigger channel. But they weren't as well received as my usual videos. So I put up a poll a few days ago asking if they wanted me to carry on with the games because I was like, I wasn't sure if I wanted to carry on as well, I was on the fence. And it was pretty close poll, but the general vibe I got is they didn't really want to see... Sorry about that, see games on uh, that channel, so I stopped putting them on there. But I posted my link, and I feel, I think I've had a few more subs since I did that, so I think a few of them have come over to this channel to watch them here instead. So, there we go. I do everything I learned from my training. I should be able to win. I have to. Okay, that ends your training. You're an official member of the OSF from tomorrow. Cadets now have 24 hours of free time until then. Make sure to get some rest before your duties tomorrow. Understood.
Hey, Yuito. How was the test? Nagi, how did it go? On the test, I'd say that I did kind of pretty good. Kind of good or pretty good? We were looking rough when the SAS cable connected. Oh, that really hurt. It was fine after I got used to it, though. Sounds like you had fun. <laughs> That's so like you. <laughs> so tomorrow will be OSF, just like we dreamed. I can't believe it. Mm. Yeah. What's up? You don't sound very excited. No, I'm happy too. Didn't I tell you? I was saved by an OSF soldier when I was a kid. So I wanted to be one as well. But... But what? Lately, I've been wondering if that's it. The end of my goal. I'm here today because someone saved me. So, I'm wondering if there is a better way to save more people's lives. You can't bear such a big burden like that. People have limits. We're OSF, so we fight others. Let's do our best at the job we've been given for now. Yeah, you're right. I guess I was just being a little anxious. First, I have to become a real member of the OSF. Thanks. Your gratitude is greatly appreciated, Mr. Yuito. So you're going to report to Sumeragi Tomb later? I hate telling the ancestors every little thing. So annoying. <laughs> well, it's not just that. The Sumeragi Tomb is collaborating with Baki right now. What? Sumeragi Tomb is your family grave. I know it's a tourist spot, but they do things like that? I heard it's happening more and more. It's something my father decided on. Oh, right. I have to send a message to my dad and brother. Your father won't reply anyway. I know he didn't want you to join the OSF, but man, that's cold. He's always smiling when he's at the council. It's like he's not even two-faced, but three-faced. I mean, he's a politician after all. Anyways, I only send him simple messages. Oh, there's already a reply from my brother. What does it say? Good work. You pushed through. A direct compliment from Chief Sumeragi? You're guaranteed a promotion. <laughs> You're making fun of me. My brother's not going to coddle me just because he's the chief of the OSF. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sure you are. If you're really sorry, you'll give me the keychain from the fortune you get from Baki. All right, I got it. I'll pull a fortune and give you my keychain. Then you have to help me pick up the ladies. I have a better chance when you're with me. What? That's just me doing extra work for you. Yeah, cutscenes are a bit long. Sorry about that. I, mean, I turned the notifications off on my computer and still on my phone, so I can't turn them off. And um, as I'm recording this, I gained uh, another two followers on the Fruit Lab channel, so that's where all that noise is about. Uh, cause I'm up to 118, I think, on there now. I had just over a month about that channel, and about 350,000 views. It's all good. Um, and yeah, getting back to this, I, um, yeah, as I said earlier, I am pleasantly surprised. I really didn't, when you actually play the game, you realise what it's about more. As an outsider watching in, it's not the same, it's just not the same at all. And you, and I suspect that the, because I only saw like some videos of this, I didn't see it all, every video all the way through of the person that I watched, used to watch uh, some, I saw an occasional video of it. So you don't get the same um, sense of what the game's about, I think, until you actually play it. And because this game, 
it's about character development as well, and it's a bit like the Sona, as I said. Um, and yeah, you sort of get attached to the characters as, you, as a bit as well, as well as the obvious fighting, you know, and all that, which is pretty cool as well. Sometimes it can be difficult. You really have to think and what you're doing and where you put place yourself if you're not in charge and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I pleasantly surprised. I also I don't know if you guys will want to see it, but I because I wanted to play the game. I downloaded Marvel Avengers yesterday as well because that came out in the Game Pass. I'm thinking of doing a video of that, but I know it's not that popular with everybody, so I don't know. So let me know what you think about that. Um. And, um, yeah, so there we go. There are a lot of people paying their respects. Huh, those two girls over there were cute. What? Really? I didn't see them. I can't believe your family grave is a tourist spot. You sure are an elite. My dad and brother are, but I'm not. It's like one of those grand families. Your father is the chairman, and your brother is chief of the OSF. Plus, you're descended from Yakumo Sumeragi, our founding father. He's the hero who saved humanity from the spring of extinction. I wonder what he looked like. Maybe he looked like you. He is your ancestor. He's my ancestor, but that was 2,000 years ago. I certainly don't feel like his descendant. The only record of him is in that mask. Even if they say he's my ancestor, how could I be sure? Ah, uh, I get it. He does look like the villain in a horror movie. His face was injured in the spring of extinction, right? Oh, crap. Your dad would get mad at me for saying that about our country's forefather. It's no big deal. But you are. The Sumeragi house is known for having lots of authority. Your dad got mad when you said you didn't want to be a politician or a bureaucrat. Enough about my family. Let's go get a fortune from Baki. You're not going to pray to your ancestors? Okay, let's get going then. Okay, got it! Let's look at the same time. Roger, these are the fortunes that will decide our fate in the OSF. Ready? Ready? Go! go! <sighs> Very bad luck. Me too. This is a bad sign. Oh, I'm dying. Let's go to a cafe or something after we tie these off. Yeah, we already got Baki's keychain. Why don't we head to Vision Town? An other alert? But today's forecast said the threat level here was zero! <sighs> what? Others? What are they doing in the city? <laughs> All units, double time! Go on the second wave through! Transfer warning. They're deploying the Scarlet Guardians. <laughs> Z 
Septentrion Karin and Fubuki. Septentrion, Karin, Travers, and Fubuki Spring! Karin Regiment, Fubuki Regiment, Clan A, roll out! Civilians, head to the shelter! Huh? Wow! Hey, Yuito! We have to get to the shelter, too! We're not real soldiers yet! Uh, yeah! Velocity evasion into an electric blast? Karin Travers is the only one who can use that many powers. He's so cool. Doesn't he have the ability to copy other people's powers? Yeah, that's why he can use all those powers. It's basically cheating. The other is fighting back, but Major General Travers is unfazed. Major General Spring freezes the other without hesitation. Whoa, an other like that is nothing against a Septentrion class. Mommy? Look out! Hey, are you serious? We're not real soldiers yet. We're the only ones here with the powers necessary to fight the others. We can't, if the instructors find out. We can't just watch people die. I'm going. You call for backup. I don't want to go alone. I'll go with you. Thanks. Don't look so happy. It's not like I want to go. You're the best. What? You think I don't know that? I'll take the right, you take the left. Got it. Not you okay? The attacks are working. Maybe I can win. You better win. It's not safe here. Get to a shelter. Y yes sir. Be careful. There are more others. Can you keep fighting? Uh, sure, why not? I'll take them on. Okay, let's go. Was that the last of them?
That's odd. You a civilian? Huh? It's her. You have to live. No matter what. You're OSF? Oh. No, I'm a cadet. I see. Either way, our goal is the same. What do you mean, goal? Are you an idiot? Huh? Shh. Something's coming. Huh? What's coming? Here we go. Huh? Okay. You're OSF too. You can use brain talk. Do you see what's happening? Let's talk after we take out the others. That was close. No! Not yet! So quite, the fight scenes are quite um, epic really, it's very satisfying to destroy the creatures, um, it's really well done and uh, I just wish I'd given this game more of a chance before but if I had it then I'd end up paying out 30-40 quid for it and now I haven't so there we go. Um, yeah so um, let me know what you think if you've played this before, let me know what you think. Um, if you played the PS5 version and it's better or worse than this, please let me know what you think. Probably pretty much the same, I would have thought. I can't see what it's like in 4K because I don't have the uh, monitor to uh, and uh, recording stuff to do to test that out as of yet. <coughs> and uh, my internet would have to be a lot better before I start recording 4K as well. So, um, yeah, there we go. So I'm sorry I've been coming in, I've been here and there with my channel the last month. I sort of um, reformatted my wonderful world of weirdness, changed stuff around my channel there. And I like what I've done and I'm going to be continuing it but for today and maybe tomorrow I'll be having a break from there because I've got stuff going on at home which is making uh, doing stuff for that channel very hard to do. I mean like for this channel I narrate like a few parts waffling on of any old rubbish is easy but for there you need like your total concentration could be narrating a six seven minute story or something like that you have to be spot on and you can't have interruptions of phones going and my partner's not well today she's got severe um, toothache and nerve pain so she's messaging me like quite often so it's very difficult to be able to be focused on like even a six minute video like this video okay it's 30 your minutes yeah but I'm not narrating for that I'm narrating like like a minute here and there so it's oh, two minutes here and there so it's easy just stop and start if I have to stop and start you know so here we go so let me know um, what you guys think um, a future stuff you want to see for the channel I aim to get to 250 subs by end of September I failed it by three I got to Two sisters? Well, I just say then, did I say 350? Yeah. 750 OSF subs like by end of September, Let and I made it to 747, so I was pretty close. I'm well happy with that. Run. So, I'm, I'm going to um, aim for 800 now by. I, I hope we should reach 750 this week, I'm hoping now. So, I'm going to aim for 800 by the end of. Um, ah, see, let's just say the end of October. I probably won't do it. Let's just go for it. See so what happens. You all that if it don't, it doesn't matter. Um, it's uh, nice to see the channel going forward. <coughs> Excuse me. And what have you? And um, yeah, I'm trying to get a balance between this channel and my my paranormal channel over the next few weeks, so that I set certain days where I do videos for this channel, like today. Certain days where I do stuff for the other channel and so on, like that. To um, so I have been posting it every day, and. I don't think that's always that popular. It's too much stuff for people to catch up on. So I'm probably going to try and cut it down every other day and so on and take it from there. See, see how it works out. What? Nagi? 
Huh? Where is everyone? Huh? We should be able to talk here. Uh, what's going on? I'm Luca Travers. You're Septentrion 6th Class Luca Travers? It's embarrassing when you put it that way, but yes, that's correct. Are you all cadets? Please open your personal ports so I can confirm your identities. No objections? Thank you. So all four of you are OSF cadets. Cadets aren't allowed to fight others. I, I'm sorry. Isn't OSF responsible for allowing others to enter the local airspace and putting civilians in danger? Kasane! You shouldn't say something like that. Those are some harsh words. But you're right, Cadet Kasane Randall. I'm sure you all have something to say, but first report to OSF Headquarters. Keep away from the press. Got it? Understood. What's that? Oh, casualties from the battle. Two OSF troopers on guard duty were killed. I think it's censored, but it's best not to look too close. Huh? Why? Because others eat human brains. Yes. Looking at headless bodies can have negative lasting effects on your mental health. Oh, I just imagined it. They should teleport or report them out. It's too far to the morgue and powers aren't omnipotent. We have time, so let's talk a little. I'm sure you know, but one person can only use one type of power. But each kind of power has peculiarities and aptitude. Just as there are types of powers, each person has strengths and weaknesses. To use them in combat, we must rely on devices to lessen the stress on the brain. That's why things that can be accomplished without powers, or things with low priority, are done manually. Right, sorry. Now then, I'll be going. That'd be us if we didn't get the others first. I wouldn't let that happen. We're all 567th class, right? We'll stick together and become great fighters. Y yeah Don't worry. I'll protect you, sis. Let's go. Oh, goodbye, Yuito. Nagi. That girl, Kasane Randall, she looks surprisingly like... her. Those two, from the registration numbers, they're in the same class. Are they twins? She's so cute. Huh? Naomi, she's so my type. Kasane is pretty too, but she's a little scary. Naomi is like her opposite, shy and kind. She kept glancing at me and blushing. Man, this might finally be my big chance. <laughs> You're as simple as always. Whatever, let's hurry to headquarters. What do you mean, whatever? Uh, you should be supportive when your best friend is in love. Yeah, yeah, tell me all about it later. Let's go.
it looks like another group of cadets has arrived. That must be Cadet Yuito Sumeragi and Cadet Nagi Carmen. So, it appears you were able to fight an other before your official assignment. How was your first fight? Huh? Were you afraid? Uh, no. I just used my training. I see. So you are able to fight calmly. Although still a cadet, you are a true Scarlet Guardian. Amazing. Really? Cadet Yuito Sumeragi, what will you tell your father, Chairman Sumeragi, about your actions today? I've been ordered not to answer any questions. Excuse me. Nagi, let's go! So we are approaching the end of the video and the actual start of the game. So until next time, I'll bid you bye for now. Stay safe. You got a big head for a cadet. Huh? What did you say? All right, everyone, don't fight. I'm Kyoka Eden of the 1st Regiment, 8th Company. You're Cadet Yuito Sumeragi and Cadet Nagi Carmen, right? Chief Kaito Sumeragi has asked to see both of you. Hurry to the Chief's office. Be ready for a lecture. You did a good thing, but it's important to follow the rules as a member of the OSF. Good luck. <laughs>